Hey, what's going on, everybody? God bless you guys in the mighty name of Jesus. What's happening? I pray that everyone is doing amazing and well. Here's the thing. This word right here, I couldn't wait. Not that I couldn't wait till later to do it, but there's times when God gives me a word and I know I have to pull over or I know I got to stop what I'm doing to release it to somebody, to convey it to somebody, to tell you what it is that God wants to say. See, and many of you are, some of you are, are going to tune into this video and this word is for you. This is, con it, this word is to confirm what the spirit of the Lord has been trying to get you to do in Jesus name. <laughs> Hallelujah. Watch this. See, see, I don't know. See, when, when, when you're, when you're around somebody cooking some fresh tortillas, see, you want it fresh off the press. See, when you're around somebody, hey, good morning, Renee, when you're around somebody and my mom or, or my, my tias or, or somebody that knows how to make some good homemade flour tortillas, man, you want it fresh off the press. And this word right here is the fresh tortillas for you <laughs> so that you can wrap up what God is speaking to you so that you can eat and be satisfied in the name of Jesus. And there's nothing like some fresh homemade tortillas, straight up as can be. Hey, what's going on, Angela? God bless you in Jesus' name. Here's the word, brothers and sisters. And this word is this. This word, I'm telling you, this word is for many people. There's going to be many people that are going to tune into this video. And this is going to confirm what God has been speaking to you. Because I know when the Spirit of the Lord begins to speak of what it is he, that he's trying to say to his people. And here is the word. Are you living... And are you at the place that God told you to be? Are you in the city? Are you in the state? Are you in the region? Are you in the church? Are you in the place that God has told you to go? See, brothers and sisters, a lot of times what we fail to realize is that it matters where you are. It matters where you are. We are positioned and called to uh, where God has an assignment for you to use you for his glory. See, a lot of times I hear Christians sometimes, especially in social media, a lot of times they'll say, well, I'm believing God for this. I'm believing God for, say, for example, I'm believing God for a new job or for a husband or for a wife or, or, for, or for a ministry or the church where he wants me to be. But a lot of times I'll ask the question, are you sure you are in the place God told you to be? See, a lot of times, some miracles and the breakthroughs that sometimes you're believing for is not where you're at. <laughs> sometimes the miracles and the people and the connections or your blessing or, or the ministry of where God is going to utilize you best is in the place that he's called you to. See, because not only... Will you not obtain and walk into what God has for you? But there's a people that are waiting for your arrival to be a blessing of what and of who you are and what you carry that is going to bring to them and vice versa. See, a lot of times Christians fail to realize that your blessing is in the place that God has for you. Now. Here's one thing that, I, that I'm not saying. So please don't hear what I'm not saying. I am not saying by any means for a man or a woman just to up and leave their family, their kids, or, 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 or just to do something reckless and leaving their job. No, no, no. But when God has spoken to you and you know that there is a promise for you and the promise and the blessing and God's favor for your life, whether it be ministry, whether it be a relationship, whether it be a job or whether it be whatever it is that God is conveying and speaking to you today. My goodness, is it that hot? My phone is getting heated. So wherever it is that God, wherever it is that God is telling you to be, that's where your blessing and your favor is going to flow. 
See, brothers and sisters, there was there was a time where I left where I was living and I went to another state. And do you know God rebuked me? Do you know God rebuked me strongly? Do you know the spirit of the Lord came upon me strongly and said to me, I never told you to come here. I never told you to come here because your work in Toledo, Ohio, in this region, in, in this area is not done. The Lord rebuked me. And for Christians who think that the Lord won't rebuke you, if he is, if he's not rebuking you at times, do you belong to him? <laughs> Hallelujah. And let me tell you something. When the Lord loves you and he and he's watching out for you, he knows what is best for you and why it is he has you where it is you are. So some of you under the sound of my voice, God has been already speaking to you in dreams. See, watch this. <clears throat> There's a lot of women on here and there's a lot of men on here, especially for you singles. And a lot of you are saying, I'm believing God for the man of God. I'm believing God for the woman of God. But what if that man and what if that woman is not even in the city that you're in? I'm believing God to use me for ministry. But what if the ministry that God has for you is not where you're at? Are you willing to be obedient to the Lord to trust him that what he has for you and where he's telling you to go, he will always make a way, he will provide, and he will be with you through it all? Oh, yes, he will. Now watch this. <laughs> Glory be to Jesus. Wherever God tells you to go, that's where your blessings are going to be. And a lot of people, sometimes they realize, well, brother, it's not that big of a deal. I can just live where I want to. I can just be in a relationship with, with who I want to. Says who? Says you or, or God? Well, well, brother, I can choose what I want. And watch this. You can. You can if you want to. But is that person, are those people, is that ministry, is that church, is that job a part of, a, a part of God's assignment for you? See, there's a lot of preachers that won't even preach a word like this because a lot of times they don't want to put people in the position of faith to be obedient to what the spirit of the Lord is saying and telling you to do. Now, watch this. So <clears throat> let's say, for example, let's say, for example, you live in Tampa, Florida. OK, so you live in Tampa. I'm just using this as an analogy. Let's say, for example, you live in Tampa Bay and God and the spirit of the Lord is saying your ministry and your blessing of what I called you to is in Idaho. Are you willing to go? What if you live in Las Vegas and the spirit of the Lord is telling you the ministry that I called you to and the people that I have for you are in Kansas? Are you willing to go? What if you live in New Jersey and the spirit of the Lord says to you, the ministry that I have for you and the people that I'm going to send you to, they are in Wyoming. Are you willing to go? And there's a lot of men and there's a lot of women that are saying, I'm believing for my, I'm believing for my Boaz. <laughs> I'm believing for my Boaz. But are you even in the field of Boaz to position yourself, to position yourself to be seen and found? See, she, she was found in his field. So she had to go to a place that she was not from. See, Christians rob themselves of the miracle working power of Jesus all day, every day. Have you ever asked the spirit of God, am I living where it is you call me to be? Where, Lord, do you want to send me? If this is not the place, have Christians ever asked themselves, am I doing what God called me to do? And if not, go to praying and asking the Lord, where is and what is the thing that God is speaking concerning you? Because brothers and sisters, and God is gracious. He'll let you stay. In, he'll let you stay there if you want to. 
but he will also provoke you and make things uncomfortable for you. Sometimes to give you a little nudge and a push to get you on course in the direction and the pathway that he has for you to be a blessing to your life. Watch this, y'all. Hear me, brothers and sisters. I'm telling you, it may not even be people on this live that may need to hear this word, but I promise you there's going to be some people that are going to tune into this video that need to hear what it is I'm saying by the spirit of the Lord. And I know what I'm talking prophetically and I know how God uses me, y'all. See, brothers and sisters, I know when the spirit of the Lord uses me to convey his word, to ignite faith and also to, to redirect people. Watch this. There's been many men and women of God that God has given me a prophetic word for and watch this. There's somebody that many of you all, that many of you all even know, that many of you all even know. And I won't name the name because I, I haven't talked to the person to even share their name and the testimony and the word that I gave to them that, that God told me to convey to them, to tell them that they're going to be moving. I gave this prophetic word to this person of God, I'm not even going to tell you if they're male or female because I don't want for you to try to figure out who it is I'm speaking of. And like I said, if she happens to stumble upon this video and if she happens to put in the comments, if we could, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hear me. <laughs> Glory be to Jesus. If they happen to put in the comments who it is, then I'll share. But other than that, I won't share. So I gave this person of God a word from the Lord that they were to move to a different city, a different region and a different place. Did they receive that word? Did they receive that word grace? Like, Oh, get excited. No, they didn't like the word at first, but guess where they are now living in the city and the region and the place that God gave me a word for them for. And guess what they're doing now? Prospering. Guess what they're doing now? Blessed. Guess what God is doing? Rocking their world. Why? Because of obedience to be where God was calling them to be and what God had planned all along. Can you guys hear me now? Hey, what's going on, AJ? God bless, bro. Can you guys hear me? Can you guys hear me now? Is it really freezing? Glory be to Jesus. The devil. <laughs> Can you guys hear me? Can you guys hear me? Is, so, is anybody out there? Anybody out there? Hallelujah. Can you guys hear me? Okay, praise God. Hallelujah. Maybe it was just their service. So, so watch this. I've prophesied people's relationships. I prophesied God giving me a word for people that could not get become pregnant, became pregnant, conceived seed, and now have children. Ah, oh, brothers and sisters, hear me, y'all. And this is not about me, but I'm telling you what obedience does. When, oh, when, when faith by a word, when the spirit of the Lord moves upon a man or woman of God and the Lord begins to use you, Sometimes, even in the midst of sometimes, you know, well, I'm praying for you. I'm believing for you. No, I knew I, I knew I heard from the Lord that God was saying what he was saying. So, brothers and sisters, let me tell you what's going on, brother Anthony. Hallelujah. Even my brother Anthony. Come on, man. See, my brother Anthony. Oh, see, my brother Anthony right here. Prime example. My brother Anthony living in a state and a region where God called him to be. Ah, uh, and what people fail to realize y'all is your blessing is in your obedience, your blessing and your favor of God moving upon your life and opening the doors and doing for you is where God wants and calls you to go. Even when you don't understand the where and the why, I, like I said, I understand that you live in LA but God is calling you to Nebraska. I understand you live in New Jersey, but God is calling you to Austin, Texas. I understand you live in Dallas, but God is calling you to 
uh, Minnesota. I understand you live in Wyoming, but God is calling you to Tennessee. I understand you live in Kentucky, but God is calling you to Las Vegas. And wherever God's word is for you, wherever God's promise is for you, his blessing that awaits you is where his word is over your life. <laughs> Hallelujah, brothers and sisters. People, people sometimes think, no, brother, it's not that big of a deal. I can just choose to plant myself wherever I want to. And though that's true, you can, but it doesn't mean that's where God wants you. No, brother, I just choose to be in a relationship with anyone that I want to. You can, and God will honor that, but it doesn't mean that's what he had for you. <laughs> I love you on the name of Jesus. Is it still freezing? Glory be to Jesus. The devil is a lie. Come on. Man, that's crazy too because maybe, maybe it's just overheating. Glory be to Jesus. Hear me, brothers and sisters. The place that God has for you, wherever God tells you to go, go there. Wherever God tells you to live, live there. Whatever relationship God tells you is for you, that's for you. The blessing and God's favor upon your life is in the obedience to what God is speaking, speaking concerning your life. Hear me, y'all. Hear me. Trust me. When I, when I was living in a different state that God never told me to go to, I got rebuked by the Spirit of the Lord. The spirit of the Lord rebuked me so strongly and told me, woke me out of a sleep and the fear of the Lord gripped me and told me as clear as can be, I never told you to come here. I never told you to leave where it is. I'm not done with you yet. I need for you to be back where it is. I called you to be until I'm done with the assignment there of what I've called you there to fulfill and do. And if you know like I know, it's one thing to wrestle with a, with a devil, but it's a totally different, it's a totally different reality wrestling with God. Knowing that God is trying to speak to you to be obedient to what it is his word is speaking concerning you. Now, like I said, you can choose your own path. You can choose your own way. And people sometimes say, but yeah, brother, we got free will. We can still do what we want to do. And God will bless it anyhow, anyway, says who? Where is that written? Where is that written where you can pick and choose what you want to do? And God has to bless it. That is not in the doctrine of Christ. The doctrine of Christ is obedience to his word and his will and his commands over you of everything and what, what it is he's called you to. What if, what if there are souls waiting for your arrival? What if there, what if there is a community of people that are waiting for you in a different city, in a different region, but you're stubborn and you don't want to obey the Lord? You not only are robbing yourself, but you're going to be robbing those people to receive the blessing and the package of what everything God has placed within you to pour into these people. And God will bypass you if he has to and raise up another to utilize to be a blessing to because somebody didn't want to go to and do what God was telling you to do. See, we think that God has got all the time in the world, and he does. But we don't. We're getting older day by day by day by day. And if nothing's changing, and if we're disobedient, not, not being obedient to where it is and what it is he's telling and calling you, you and I to do, 
then we need to go back on our knees and we need to begin to pray and say, Lord, I may not understand this assignment. I may not understand why it is you want me to go there. I may not understand fully why this, why that. I may not understand, but I want to be obedient to everything that, that you are calling me to. I want to be faithful and true to everything you're telling me to do because I want to live in the favor and the blessings that flow from being obedient to everything that you have commanded through your word of what it is you've been leading my life and want my life to abide and live from as a reality. See, brothers and sisters, what you don't realize, not only would you, not only may you be hindering and blocking your blessings, but there's a people. What if the people God's called you to are not where you live today? What if the place that God is calling you to isn't in the region you are in? <laughs> See, and for a lot of you, you might even, you might even, amen. And for a lot of you, you might even be saying, man, brother, this is kind of a heavy word because what if I do pray and God doesn't want me to be where it is I am in this region and in this city and in this place and what if he does tell me to go to dallas what if he does tell me to go to tampa what if he does tell me to go to new york what if he does tell me to go to la what if he does tell me to go to idaho what if he does tell me to go to wyoming what if he does tell me to go to nebraska what if he does tell me to go to ohio what if he does tell me to go to michigan what if he does tell me to go to kentucky what if he does tell me to go to tennessee are we willing to do what the lord and where it is the Lord is leading you. How do you not know? As I said, this minister that I gave that word to and many others. And like I said, I haven't talked to this minister as of recently to, to convey who it is I'm referring to. But many of you all know them. You know them. And God gave me a word specifically of the city, the region, and the place that I saw they needed to move to. And guess where they live today? In the place that I said. Did they like the word when I gave it to him at first? No. They rejected it. <laughs> Hallelujah. They rejected the word that I gave to them of what I of what the spirit of the Lord gave to me to give to them. They didn't want to hear it. But guess where they're living today? In the very place that God gave me a word for them to to abide and live in and guess what they're doing now? Prospering, blessed, God's favor and God is moving upon their life. God is moving upon their life like he wasn't moving upon their life when they were in the place that they thought they needed to be in. That again, we sometimes think we need to be here. We need to be there. But have you asked the Lord, where do you want me, oh God? See, and that's kind of a scary prayer. Because if the Lord does speak and tells you to up and move, are you ready? If the Lord does speak, are you ready to move? Are you ready to step out? Are you ready to be obedient of what it is he tells you to do? Do you know that the story of the lepers, the ones in, King, in the book of Kings, where they said, why sit we here until we die? If we stay here, we're going to die. But if le at least if we go over there, they'll, they'll kill us and we're going to die anyway. So either way, they thought they were going to die. But little did they know God had a setup and God had a plan that when they began to walk towards that city, God was already evacuating that place. And when they arrived, the city was empty, ready for them to walk into and to reap and to gather all the spoils, the land, the food that was cooking, the clothes that were in the city, the houses that were in the city, everything was there available and ready for them. All they needed to do was enter in. And little did they know that in that moment and in that day, 
God was preparing a way. God was making a way and God made available for them. They thought they were going to starve and die, but then they walk into and they begin to feast and eat. And then they went back and they told Elisha and all the other people of the city, come, the city is evacuated and there's houses, there's food, there's riches, there's gold, there's silver, there's jewelry, there's everything there that is available for us. Come and let's go eat because the people were starving in that moment, in that time. Are you starving? Are you starving where you're at? Are you lacking where you're at? Like I said, this word may not be for everybody, but I promise you it's for some. I promise you this word is for a lot of people more so than they think. Because sometimes Christians fail to realize that your obedience is what unlocks God's faithfulness and his provision and his favor over your life. Are you wet where God called you to be? Are you doing what God called you to do? Have you even asked the Lord this question? So that, my, that is my prayer for you today. Is to awaken you to this reality. Have you ever asked the Lord? Did, did the Lord tell you to do even that job? So you'll leave to a different city for a job but you can't leave to a different city for the Lord. Hmm. So you'll uproot your whole entire family for a position for money, but you won't do it for Jesus. See, there's a lot of things that we do for money. See, there's a lot of things that we do for our own provision and sake. But some, but, but that we won't do for the Lord. We will do for money, but we won't do for the Lord. So brothers and my sisters, my prayer for you today is this, is that you would ask the Lord, seek the Lord. And I'm not saying that this is for everybody, but for those that this word is for, God has called you and told you to go to a different place and to a different city and to a different region. But some of you are being disobedient. Some of you have not taken heed to what the spirit of the Lord is trying to been prop and tug at your heart for you to up and leave. God has been calling you to there. God wants you to start the ministry there. God wants you to do the work there. God wants you to bless the people there. Are you at where God called you to be? Are you doing what God called you to do? Are you in the region? Are you in the city? Are you in the state that the Lord has his assignment for your life of why it is he's even called you in the first place. See, there's a blessing with your name on it. And that blessing with your name on it, you're going to find through obedience. And some things, like I said, y'all, see, sometimes Christians upon the land, they become frustrated because they're trying to get God to bless them in the place that he never told them to be. I'm going to repeat that once again. Sometimes Christians become frustrated because they find, them they find themselves at odds with God because they're in a place that God never told them to be. But I promise you, brothers and sisters, not because Brother Chris says, no, because I understand how God's word, how God's provision and how, how God's plan will always take care of those that are obedient and faithful to everything and how it is he leads. If God calls you to it, he will provide and make a way. If God tells you to do it, he will connect you with the people. He will make the path straight and you will, you, you will even have dreams and visions and even confirming words to verify what it is the spirit of the Lord is speaking for you to do. So once again, if you live in if you live in Las Vegas, but God's called you to, to God's called you to do and to establish something in Wyoming, be obedient to the Lord. If you live in Tennessee, but God has called you to New York City, be obedient to the Lord. If you live in if you live in Boston, but God has called you to Memphis, Tennessee, 
be obedient to the Lord. See, because wherever his word takes you is everything that you're going to ever need. See, there is such a place that you can live in God, being fruitful, blessed, peace, rather than going upstream, you're flowing with the Lord. So I love you on Jesus name. I know this is going to challenge a lot of you. I know this is going to provoke some of you. I know some people, they, they may not even like it because they don't want to think about uprooting and, and going to a different place. But my question once again raised to you is this. Are you sure you're at where God told you to be? Are you 100? Precise? Where God told you to be? Because if you're not, You may find yourself frustrated. Now, some people might even say, "Well, brother, it's not that big of a deal. I can do what I want to do, brother. Brother, you're making you're making you're making such a big deal out of it. Am I? How do you know? You haven't even gone. What what is the thing that people always say once they once they stepped out and they succeeded in a thing? What's the one thing they always say? I wish. I would have did this sooner. I wish I would have stepped out sooner. I wish I would have been obedient to God leading sooner. Had I known what was awaiting for me, I would have did this a long time ago. Study the successes of people and how it is things came about to be in their life once they stepped out and did what it is they knew God was leading them to. Your fruitfulness and your blessing and God's favor flowing in your life is always going to be found through obedience and faithfulness to the Lord. Y'all be blessed in Jesus name. And sometimes, like I said, you can take this word and wipe it off. And that's cool. <laughs> Hallelujah. You can do what you want to do. You can just say, oh, that brother's tripping. That brother don't know what he's talking about. This is not a word for me. But but here's the thing. But if you never asked and went to the and went to prayer for to the Lord in regards to asking the Lord, are you living where it is he called you to be? Or are you do or are you living and doing what it is you think you need to do? Love you all in Jesus name. Have a beautiful and amazing day. Think about this, y'all. Think about this. How do you know? You'll never know if you never step out. You'll never know what awaits for you. If you do not do what God told you to do, you never know what is going to be on the other side. You never know what you're going to experience and taste and see through obedience to what it is the spirit of the, uh, the, spirit of the living God is leading you to. But you can stay comfortable if you want. You can stay right there if you want to. Praise God. It's not a heaven or hell issue. But there is a reality of, of God's favor and destiny involved into where it is he really wanted you to do. Because there's going to be many things when we get to heaven that we're going to look, that we're for real going to look back on and say, my God, Lord, I could have did all that. There was so much more. Why did I live so limited? Why did I not trust you more? Why did I why did I not rely upon your leading knowing that you knew what was best for my life even when I could not understand? See, your mind will talk you out of miracles. Your mind will talk you out of blessings. Your mind will rob you from favor. Your mind will be the greatest hindrance, not even the devil, to stop you of what God and where it is God is calling you to be. Y'all be blessed in Jesus name. Have a beautiful and amazing one. I love you all. I do. I do. Your brother loves you. I love you. I believe in you. I just want to see you all blessed. But if you want, but if you don't want to be blessed and if you don't want to go where it is God's telling you to do, that's on you. Amen. I love you all. Be blessed in Jesus.